to our north. A shark was caught and then it was released in Oceanside just a few days ago. Fox 5's Jamie Chambers joins us now with the warning from officials there. Jamie. Yeah, it was a pretty wild sight to see. And earlier in that week, just a day or two before, there was a sighting in uh, Tamarack, just Carlsbad. That sh put up shark signs, warning signs, enter at your own risk. Then just yesterday, they caught a, a shark here, good sized shark. Take a look at some of these, this video that's just uh, given to us by the Oceanside lifeguards showing that shark getting hooked up. That shark uh, did uh, get released by that fisherman. They were able to take that hook out and make sure that that shark was okay. It is uh, against the law to injure a white shark, but the fish experts, fishery experts believe that that was about a nine foot, um, possibly juvenile, possibly sub adult white shark. And when we spoke to uh, some of these experts from Scripps, we spoke to Dr. Lyle Belquist. He says, this is pretty rare at this time of the year. It's kind of an off-season uh, sighting for this particular region. Usually we see um, high numbers of juveniles and sub-adults in the summer months. And then uh, when the summer fades, they uh, tend to disperse. We see a lot fewer of the um, larger size classes, like the adults. They tend to be um, farther north in colder waters. This is kind of more of a, um, the Southern California bite seems to be more of a pupping area. And so they're really trying to figure out, is this just more and more sharks coming to the coast? Is there a new uh, pattern for these sharks? You don't see a lot of surfers out there today, but I will say it's just not a lot of waves as well. We spoke to a handful of people and they said they're not going to go and wait because uh, a shark is sighting. It's their house. And everyone knows that there's an implicit contract when you enter the ocean, there's going to be some sharks. That's the very latest from Oceanside. Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. Yep.